Shalom, Yasharala. I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Double salutations to the Akim out there, spreading this word in truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Akwaf listening in today. I'm back at you with another lesson entitled we're living in some very trying times man you know um uh you know we're, we're living in a time where temptation is very high you know you got this devil working overtime man you know you got those spirits on the left hand side they're, they're they're really putting in that shift you know and um you know a lot of people are being deceived by pride and uh various other things right but you know you've had certain individuals fall out of the truth that that really weren't expected to fall out you know or you, you've even got certain situations happening now when we're in the last of the last days that you wouldn't expect to be happening man but you know um i remember elder apostle taha saying not too long ago that there's going to be a sift sifting season man and you know you know what that means? That means that, that the unwanted are going to be sifted out. You know, the Heavenly Father is going to sift out the unwanted. You see, because you see, you can only you can only fake for so long, man. You know, because they've been brought to light that, you know, certain brothers didn't um, wholeheartedly agree with the doctrine the whole time. And, you know, had problems with uh, other men in the camp, you know, so... Everything is being revealed through the spirit, man. But also, we're living in some very trying times. And, you know, we don't want to get caught on the wrong end of the stick. You know, that's why we pray humbly that the Heavenly Father doesn't remove His Holy Spirit from us, man. You know? That's why we pray humbly. Because, hey, man, the same way... So lucky. The same way that, um, you know... We've received this truth is the same way we can be taken out of this truth, man. You know? And that's not what we want in these final days, man. You know? So we're going to start off here in, in um, Psalms chapter 51 and 9. And it reads, Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities. You know, because we know that ultimately we're subject to sin because we're in this wicked flesh right now. You know, and as long as we're in this wicked flesh, we're always going to be subject to sin, man. But 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 what we need to do is make sure that we're actively, um, you know, taking the steps to to work on ourselves, man. We always need to be self-examining ourselves, you know, because you see, the moment you get that that pride spirit on you. That's, you know, the, the, the spirit is basically being, the Holy Spirit is basically being taken away from you, man. You see, it says pride is the beginning of sin, right? And, and you know, in order to remain in this thing, we need to remain humble, man. We can't let that pride demon overtake us, you see? Verse 10, create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me, you know? And that's what we want. We want a right spirit within us because we know we're wrong. You know, we know we're not perfect, but we strive for perfection. You see? Verse 11. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. You see? So even King David, he was saying, you know, he was praying that he would not, um, heavenly, that, that the Heavenly Father would not cast his Holy Spirit away from him, man. Because, you know, we understand now more than ever that... If we ain't got the Holy Spirit dealing with us, we're through, man. You know, we've done been rejected by everyone in society now. You know, the, the truth is all we've got right now. So if we, if we fall out the truth, we ain't got nothing, man. We ain't got no one, we ain't got nothing. And really and truly, it doesn't even matter what we fall into if we do fall out the truth. Because we ain't got the truth no more, man. And, and if we ain't got the truth, then we're, we're basically through, man. You know, so that's why we have to serve the Lord with fear and trembling, man, because the Heavenly Father, 
if he if he sees you unprofitable, he can just take his spirit away from you like that, you know. And we're we're, we're so close, man. We're so close to the end, like we we can almost taste it. And the last thing we want is to be cast out, man. You know, because Satan's working overtime, which obviously we know that Satan he takes orders from the Most High. But those left hand spirits, man, they they they're going hard in these last days, man. You know. Let's go to the book of Luke Chapter 22 And we'll start at verse 31 And the Lord said This is Yahweh Shai Simon, Simon Behold, Satan have desired to have you That he may sift you as wheat But I have prayed for thee That thy faith fail not and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. And he said unto him, Lord, I am ready to go with thee, both into prison and to death. And we need to have that same spirit on us now. You know, we need to, we need to be praying to the Heavenly Father for that heavy spirit to be on us, man. Because, you know, we're going to be seeing loads of death. We're going to see, we already see a lot of judgment going out now But we're going to see a lot more judgment going out And that, you know, that judgment is going to get up close and personal, man You, you know, you're going to start hearing, you know Certain family members are going and you name it, man But you're going to know that the, that the spirit of the Lord is, you know, prevalent on the earth You see? But you see, we need to be willing to die for this thing, man We need to be, um faithful unto death because you know certain certain of us brothers are gonna have to die for this truth man and there, there, there's, there's no way around it you know there's no sugarcoat in it but you know it says in the scriptures that pressures in the sight of the lord is the death of his saints roughly paraphrasing man and there's no greater love than than one who lays down his love for his who lays down his life for his brother man you know so we're not here to sugarcoat anything we're, we're, we're telling you as it is you know, but with all that being said, our power is still going to have us until the very end. You know, what does it say in Revelation 3 and 10? It reads, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try th uh, to try them that dwell upon the earth And we know that ultimate hour of temptation Is, is, is when that grain of rice Pursuing to Revelation 13 and 16 Is made mandatory man That's going to be the ultimate temptation But you know The reason why we be going through certain situations now Is because the Heavenly Father he, He's building us up in the spirit man You know He's building us up in the spirit To, um, to be able to face that great day You know I had to go through certain experiences in my life for, you know, my faith to be increased, to be strengthened and to know that I, I should trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And, you know, the Heavenly Father is still throwing situations at me to, to, to continue to strengthen me, right? You know, same with the, the same goes for the, hope, for the rest of the hopeful elect, you see. So, you know... We're going to have to uh, endure until the very end, man. There's, there's no easy way into the kingdom, right? Remember, we, we signed up for the straight gate, man. You know? We don't want to take that narrow path to destruction. We want to stay at the straight gate. Because we, we want to get the hell up out of here, man. We want to show the Heavenly Father that we're done with this place. And we, we need a saviour, right? That saviour being none other than Yahweh Shai. Right, but before we get to the salvation, we're gonna have to go through a fiery trial, man. You know, as I said, there, there's no sugar coat in it. There's no, there's no way around it, man. We're heading into the worst time ever recorded in history, and we're just gonna have to fully trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai throughout all of it, man. Enduring until the end. Let's read Revelation two and ten. Which reads, Fear none of these those things which thou shalt suffer, because the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, 
And ye shall have tribulation 10 days, which doesn't actually mean 10 days, it just means a period of time. Right? Be thou faithful unto death. You right? Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. You know? So we're, we're going to have to be faithful, man, even if it means that it's going to cost us our lives. You see? That's what's required. Right? Our Lord Yahweh Shai, he laid down his life for, for our nation, man. You know, there, there's no greater love than that. And you know, all, all we can say is, for Wada Yahweh Shai, for that great act, you know, that's true love. And, and you know, ultimately, we aspire to be like Yahweh Shai. You see? So this is the way, man, walk ye in it. Right? Because there, there's no place for us in the world, man. As I said, we done been rejected by every group out there. Right? There ain't no place for us in the world. So, there no, there's, there's no point in trying to jump ship when we've got literally... You know, we're almost out of here, man. Lord willing. You know, we, we ain't got time to be wavering in the doctrine and, and, and you know, getting that... You know, having that doubt demon... Um, plague your mind You see Because the biggest battle You face in this truth Is against yourself man You know That that that, that flesh versus the spirit That's the biggest battle man And that's why We need to be in that King David spirit That you know Psalms 51 and 11 That, that the Heavenly Father You know We need to be asking The Heavenly Father Not to take his uh, Not to take his Holy Spirit Away from us man So like There's someone there Trying to Open up this gate. You know, I have to pull up in a new spot today, man. My spot got taken, but you know, so lucky, man. So lucky. Let's go to First Peter four and chapter twelve, and it reads, "Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you, right?" You couldn't get through Anyways Let me read that again 1 Peter 4 and 12 Beloved Think it not strange Concerning the fiery trial Which is to try you As though some strange thing Happened unto you So because you know Ah oh man when, when you get into this truth You know you, you suffer man There's there's no way around it You have to deal with the scoffers The unbelievers The rejection You know The blaspheming the, the 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 battle within yourself between the spirit and the flesh you know the heavenly father is going to throw certain situations at you to um not because you know he hates you or that but because he needs to build you up you know he needs to build up your strength you know you go to the gym you, you, you what's the saying no pain no gain right you ain't going to grow that muscle Unless you, you, you break it down, man, and then you get sore, right? And then it repairs and it comes back stronger. Well, that's the same thing that the Heavenly Father is doing with his remnant, his elect. He's got his elect going through certain uh, 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 hard situations to build up their faith, right? To, um, to strengthen them, you see? So you see, the Heavenly Father, he deals with elects through fire, man. You know, so so if you if you ain't catching hell in this thing, then you need to really consider if you're a part of the truth or not, man. Because hey, man, it says you have, we have to endure much suffering, man. Being in this truth, there's no way around it, man. You see, but what does it say in verse 13? It says, "But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed." Ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. And we want to be glad with exceeding joy when we see Yahweh Shah coming back, man. We don't want to be in that spirit of, oh, man, I, I wish I did more. I wish I took the truth seriously. Or, you know, we don't want to be in that spirit, man. We want to be in that spirit that, hey, man, I've done everything I possibly could to the best of my ability. Hopefully, I'll be a part of that hopeful elect, man. Hopefully, I get beamed up into that chariot. You see? But we don't want to be in that doubtful spirit, man. Or that I wish I did more spirit, man. We don't want that. So, you know, we must enjoy that uh, 
we must suffer for righteousness sake man because ultimately our suffering is not in vain if we endure until the end but if you just decide to just walk off and do your own thing midway then then all your works are unprofitable man it says he who endures until the end the same shall be saved and we're not at the end yet although it's very close we're not there yet man you know we're still going about our business certain prophecies didn't popped off yet you know so there's still plenty work to do man there's plenty work to do you see Let's go to Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Right? You know, certain people, they've been in this truth for so long, man. You know, five years, ten, you know, that's not even a long time, man, but like, you know, ten years plus laboring in this work and then I've fallen out the truth. You know? So you see the Heavenly Father, that's why, hey, man, it's... This is scary, man, because, you know, if the Heavenly Father, if he, if he sees that he don't need you no more and he don't want to deal with you, he can just, you know, he can just put that lying spirit on you, man, and, and then bug you out and then, and then your ass is out the truth, man. You see, it says that, the, that, that, that pride is the beginning of sin. And, you know, let me get, uh, let me get Sirach real quick. Ecclesiasticus So Rock 10 and 12 The beginning of pride is when One departed from the Most High And his heart is turned away from his Maker So you see the moment we depart from the Heavenly Father That's, that's when that pride comes in man That's when that pride comes in And we don't want to be in that prideful spirit man Right Yahweh Shai He's coming for the meek the lowly, the afflicted. You know, he's near to those that have a broken heart, man. Not those that go it all together and, you know, they're so perfect in their own eyes, man. You know, which really is deceitful. You see? Proverbs 3 and 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding, man. You know, because we're going to be going through certain situations and, you know, that doubt demon might hit you or that flesh might hit you like oh yeah man man that see that truth ain't nothing man but hey you you gotta fight those demons man the greatest battle that you fight is with yourself man and that's the truth you know that's why we need to seek the heavenly father 10 times more because you know day by day we realize we really can't do this thing without him man Without Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? You know? We can't do this thing without them. You see? And that's the spirit we need to be in. We need to be in that humble spirit, man. Not, not that proud and arrogant spirit. You know? That's going to lead you to death, destruction. You see? Verse 6, Proverbs 3 and 6. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. You see, so he might, he, he, so the Heavenly Father, he's going to put you in that fire, man. But he's also going to direct your paths, man. You just have to trust in him. No matter what situation you're going through, good, bad, or whatever, you have to trust in Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Right? There's no way around it. Verse 7, be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil, man. You don't want to be wise in your own eyes because that's, that's, that's pride, Right, and you see, the beginning of pride is when one's heart departed from the Lord, man. And we don't want to depart from the Lord in these trying times that we're in right now. That's the last thing we want, you know. We don't want to miss our uh, uh, getting beamed up by a chariot just because of pride, man. Just because of, of um, you know, uh, what's the word? So, uh, uh, maybe one brother has afflicted you And you still feel away about it man you gotta, you got to forgive man How do you expect your heavenly father To forgive you of your sins If you can't even forgive your brother man You know It don't work that way You see but You see th these are the times that we're living in man You know the, the heavenly father He's turning everything up man 
And this is why we need to fear him 10 times more because if he wants to bug you out, he will bug you out, man. And he's, he, he, he's you know, he's, he's showing Israel examples of that, right? Let's go to Ecclesiasticus chapter 2. And we'll start at the top. And it reads, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. You see, so... You know, expect those those demons to come on you, man. Because, you see, these demons, they ain't really going to trouble those that are already in deep sleep. Because those demons, they, they got them exactly where they want to be, man. But when they see you waking up, and, they, you know, they, they, they see that light shining off you. They, they want to dim that light, man. They want to bring you, they want to put you back to sleep, pretty much. You know, so these demons, they be working hard on the men of the Lord. Right, you be going through certain situations, you're just like, damn, you know. But that's that's the fight, man. That we have to endure that temptation, and temptation comes in many forms, right? Verse two, set thy heart aright, and um, and constantly, right, constantly endure, and make not haste in the time of trouble. Cleave unto him, and depart not away. That thou mayest be increased at thy last end. And that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for that increase. Lord willing, we endure until the very end, man. We're waiting to receive that, you know, that spiritual power. And, you know, ultimately that, that salvation, man. And those new bodies. That's what we're waiting for. We're waiting to be increased, man. We're, we're tired of being in this wicked flesh. We're tired of going off. Right? We're, you know... We're tired of the unrighteous decrees. Right? We just want to go home, man. Enough is enough. Right? Th this ain't the way to live. Although most of our people are still in La La Land. And they're thriving in their wickedness, man. We know this ain't no way to live, man. Especially, you know, when you're suffering for this truth, man. It's just, ugh. You know, it, it's a lot, man. But, you know. That's why we need to be there for one another, man. We can't be having problems with, with, with each other, man. As Look, man, as brothers in this truth, we are all we got, right? Because we can't trust anyone outside the brotherhood, you see? So, you know, we, we need to love one another, man, and, 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 and really be there for each other in these, in these final days, man. Because the Heavenly Father, he's turning up that heat. He's turning up that heat, man. You see? Sirach 2 and 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. We're, we're changed to a lower state right now, man. You know, it says in Psalms 82 and 6 that ye are gods, right? But look at us now, man. We fill up the council houses, low quality of living, first one's fired, last one's hired. You name it, man. Racial discrimination where we're, we're made a reproach to all the other nations on earth. We're looked down upon, frowned upon, you know. That it says to be patient when thou art changed to a lower state, man. So we, we're just enduring. As a good soldier for Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shai, we're enduring, man, in hopes that we shall be increased at thy last end. Right? Verse 5. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, right? And we're in that furnace of adversity now, man. We've got various different um, hard times that we have to deal with individually, man, you know? We're all carrying our own cross. Yahweh Shai, he carried the ultimate cross. But, you know, we're, we're suffering for righteousness sake. So we're, we're bearing our own cross, man, and that comes with... Um, our own individual sufferings in itself Right Let's go to Psalms 34 And uh, We'll start at um, Verse 17 It reads The righteous cry And the Lord heareth And delivereth them Out of all their troubles Right So the Lord he, he really be hearing us, man. You know? Although sometimes it just seems that it's too much. But, you know, 
the Heavenly Father, He ain't gonna tempt you above our, He ain't gonna tempt us above our measure, man. He knows what we can handle. He He knows us better than we know ourselves, man. You know, so He knows what He can put us through, and we'll be able to endure it. We just have to what? Trust in the Lord, man. Lean not on thine own understanding. You see. Verse eighteen. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save of such as be of a contrite spirit. You see, he's near unto those, the, 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 the meek, the broken hearted, those that have been, you know, made a reproach upon the, uh, upon the earth, man. Which is us Israelites, starting with the elect. Because, you know, what, once you're a part of, you know, once you become a part of this thing, you, you open up your... You know, you're open up to the truth. Man, you be catching nothing but hell, man. And and, and, and there, there's no way around it, you see. Verse 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. So, you know, you've got the wicked prospering right now. They're not really catching hell, but you see, they're about to catch way worse hell than we're catching right now. You know, so... As hard as it is for us, we let's just bear it, man. Let's endure. Because the wicked, starting with the wicked of our people, they they they're gonna catch way more hell, man. You know, they, they got they have no cloak for their sins. So the Heavenly Father, he he's gonna get down, he's gonna get busy, man. On the wicked Israelites of our people and, 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 and the heathen nations. He's gonna get busy on them, man. You see? Man, this is very trying times that we're living in, man. You know, we just want to pray that the Heavenly Father, you don't take His Spirit away from us. You know, we want to, we want to continue operating in the Spirit. You see, we don't want that changing. One second. Go to James chapter 1 and verse 12. And it reads, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, when the Lord, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. You see? So we have to endure that temptation, man. We have to endure it. In hopes that we receive that crown of life at the very end. You know that we can't remember. You know, we have to remember what we're suffering for. Why are we suffering? You know, what are we doing this for? Because ultimately we want to receive that salvation, man. We don't want to get caught up here dying the death of the wicked, man. That's why we'd rather what? Suffer now, man. We'd rather suffer for righteousness sake, man. Rather than suffer being wicked. You see, so that's that's what that's why we're enduring all this suffering, man. That's why we're not doing this for no reason, man. It says the heavenly Father is not unrighteous that he shall forget our acting, uh, our labor of love, man. You know, roughly paraphrasing. Let's close out here in First uh, Thessalonians chapter four, and we'll start at. Oh my days! I'm not even in Thessalonians. I'm all in Timothy, Salachi. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and um, verse 16 and it reads for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the most high and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first so you know as I said certain of us brothers are going to have to die for this truth man but them same brothers you know will be raised up first when uh, Yahweh Shai returns You see Verse 17 Then we which are alive And remain Shall be caught up together with them in the clouds To meet the Lord in the air And so shall we Ever be with the Lord You see And that's, and that's what we want man We're waiting for our salvation Lord willing we make it into that chariot man you know, we want to hear, well done, my faithful servant from Yahweh Shai, whilst he's putting crowns on our head, man. Lord willing. 
You see? Verse 18, wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Especially now, man. As I said, we ain't got nothing but the brotherhood, man. Now is not the time to, you know, to, to uh, uh, um, um, think evil of your brother, man. You know, to, to stir up strife. Now is not the time, man, because we need each other now more than we ever did. And going forward, that's how it's going to be, man. You know, we're being tried in that fire and the Heavenly Father, he's turning that temperature, man. So, as it says in Sirach 2 and 1, um, let me get that real quick. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, man. So we have to constantly fight that fight, man. Fight that good fight of faith. You see? And you know, Lord willing, the Heavenly Father puts that spirit on us to endure until the very end, man. And, and, and that, you know, we don't become overcome by the flesh and have that flesh ultimately take over, man. We want to be operating in the spirit. Now more so than ever, man, we want to be operating in the spirit. You see? Because... As the title of this lesson is, we're living in some very trying times, man. You know? And it's not going to get any easier, man. It's not going to get any easier, man. You know? So we have to, we have to continue to endure, man. Alright? So hopefully this lesson was edifying. And until the next time, I say Shalom.